Dick Buckley, the baritone sax player whose music had opened the door to Dublin's jazz scene for a curious Eamon Carr, would ultimately see the oldest and youngest of his four children pick up saxophones themselves and follow on behind. Maybe three saxophone players exceeds the quota for any one family, but whatever the reason, Hugh Buckley, Dick's nephew and Richie and Michael's cousin, chose to plough a different furrow. In a land of brass and wind instruments, Hugh Buckley picked up a guitar. A jazz guitar, and there's a thing, right? Why play jazz guitar when the world's had Jimi Hendrix? You know, I'm sorry, that, that was always my thing. But then I started hearing Hugh. He has an exquisite tone, a really beautiful tone. And it's not down to the settings on his guitar and his whatever little amplifier he might use. It's his touch. It's like something like, you know, Johnny Doherty, the Donegal Fiddler, you know, it's, it's, it's something like that. It's, it's down to touch. At home he had a piano and all my sister plays piano, and I think my dad wanted me to, you know, play piano when I was younger, but it was sort of during the early 70s, I suppose, it was kind of uncool to play, you know, piano if you're a guy, you know? <laughs> I waited until I had my first guitar before I actually started playing music or like that, you know? But I, I knew I always wanted to play music, you know, from an early age, actually. I remember my first chord. <laughs> I do, yeah, A minor. You remember, you remember a friend of my dad's, actually, Eddie Creighton, his name, he was a great guitarist in the 60s, actually 70s and stuff like that. A rock guitar player in town, actually, and uh, he taught me the first chord, I remember that, yeah. He was self-taught all the time after that then, really. Hugh uh, is, uh, as I say, one of those guys. We mightn't have Hugh if we, had, probably, if we hadn't had Louis Stewart in town. There are so many smashing guitar players come up as a direct result of the influence of Louis. I mean, Hugh would be probably the first one. There's Dave O'Rourke, who works as a professional now in New York. There's young Moriarty. There's dozens, a dozen guys around town. I spend a lot of time over in Richie's house, and um, I'd hear his dad, you know, playing in the front room and stuff like that, and, uh, and Richie was getting into it, you know, you know, around that time too anyway, you know, so he'd be playing. So I'll be hearing the sounds there, all right, you know? Yeah. Sam and Hugh were always very close, yeah. always, yeah. I'd go over to Hugh's house or he'd come over to see us and he'd bring his guitar, you know, and we'd play. My dad, you know, my dad did have an influence on, you know, Hugh looked to my dad as well. Initially, I didn't really like the sound of, of jazz, actually, myself. I suppose it was an older style. At the time, it, you know, probably wasn't all that cool for, for guys here in Dublin, you know, uh, to be listening to jazz and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> really. Uh, it's very cool now. 